And they're going to have their hands full with Ian Anderson. 3-1 and one with a 4.01. Again, 15 walks to 18 strikeouts. You'd like to see that start to separate itself. Warming up in Atlanta, 82 degrees at first pitch. And a line drive into left field, but right at Marcel Ozuna. Good start for Ian Anderson. One up, one down. On the ground, right to Matt Olson. That'll be easy. He'll vacuum that up. And good to see Anderson get the ball on the ground. And that takes care of J.D. Martinez. It was a curveball. Three up, three down. Good start for Ian Anderson. The Braves take aim at hard throwing Nathan Evaldi. Nathan Evaldi, one and one, ERA at 2.94. It's better than that one and one record. You learn a lot more from a start like last night for him. Stroked into left field Verdugo will dive and make the play measured that perfectly nicely done there for out number one. Well that ball seemed to be dying and he did he measured it nicely. You know look at this thing it was a little floater at the end. You see him coming in into the dive on just a hair to get to the dive to catch it before he hits the ground. I see you. This is Trevor's story. The story for him this year has been a slow start in Boston. Look, new city, new expectations, big contract. 1-1. One, one. High fly ball, straight away center. DeVall racing back at the track and wall. It is gone. That's number one for Trevor Story. A two-run shot to put the Red Sox in the lead in the second inning. Uh, he stayed back just enough on that changeup and got the barrel to it. Here we go. A little double changeup by Verdugo. Raphael 0 for 1. He is grounded out to first. Played in every game this season. One time is the DH. And he'll turn on that one. That's ripped into the corner. That'll short hop the wall. Little bobble out there by Demerit, but he was on his way into second anyway, and that'll be a double. And a six game hitting streak now for Rafi Devers. I don't know. Lined up the middle for a base hit. Raffi rounding third. Duvall fires home. Play at the plate, and he is in there safe. And JD scampers down to second. Boy, the Red Sox have it happening tonight again. That is a bullet by JD up the middle. They're hitting some peas off of this guy. Look at that curveball. You may as well stick it in your pocket. That's a hanger coming right back at your face. That ball was stung. Those other pitches, he's going to blow that heater by you every time. Right up the middle. No trouble for Arcio with a 1 2 count. There's your first Braves base runner. Yeah, give the guy eight days off and it's no trouble. Huh? Well, remember, he didn't hit for seven or eight days and he got <laughs> yeah. a hit off Edwin Diaz. Travis Demerit. Demerit was one for four last night. He's hit safely in 10 of 14 games with the Braves. Demerit swings the hammer, drills one to deep left field, and the Braves are on the board. A two run home run by Travis Demerit. He killed it over the wall. That sailed just to the right side of the Hank Aaron Terrace and just above the visitors bullpen. And it's now a one run ball game with the Red Sox on top three to two. Struck out as you said he saw everything Evaldi has in the arsenal. Swing and a drive. What a left center. Track ball. It's off the wall. Dansby will score. Olsen slides in the second with a game tying double. That's the first hit Evaldi's given up to a runner in scoring position all year and it's a 3-3 game. Funny they give him the other way because he could hit the ball the other way. Going to turn on it and he finds the alley. That's on a grass and a track up against the wall. Ploiecki smacks a double. And the Red Sox off to a nice start here in the fifth. Houston has six hits. The Braves have four. We're tied where it counts three apiece. And the 2 2 is on the ground. He should get out of it. Ozzie's got it. And the peg to first. Ian Anderson, a terrific job. Works around the leadoff two base hit. Boston strands Plowecki. And the Braves and Red Sox stay tied. Kind of what I was talking about there. Yeah, Buddy Black was a terrific pitcher, pitching coach, now a manager, as this one is. Hammered by J.D. Martinez into left field, a leadoff single in the all-important sixth inning. One on and nobody out. Three balls, one strike, big pitch. And Verdugo takes ball four, two on, one out. And Brian Snitker pops out of his seat. He's making his way to the stairs. And as Verdugo takes his time to take off the protective gear, Snit will make his way to the mound. And he's going to call on Colin McHugh with two on 
and one out in the Boston sixth. Ian Anderson gave up three early, but slammed the door since. But he'll leave with a couple of board in a tie game. Oh, he rung, oh, him, he up. rung him up. Strike three in a pitch that was not a strike. Balls he's been, down. He's been thrown out of the game. Ploiecki livid over the call. Here comes Cora. That was ball four. And there goes Cora. He's been tossed as well. Well, that was a horrible call from an umpire who's actually had a good night until now, but he cost the Red Sox a run. Out of nowhere, he calls strike three. He hasn't had made a call like that all night. More crucial. Bases loaded. 3-2. Ploiecki knew it was a ball. You're, that's why you never see something like this happen. I think Cora just said, you're better than that. Yes. That's exactly what he should be doing right now. Wow. That Out is a three. huge call. I mean, it's a great take by Ploiecki. Start with that. You have to be willing with this guy to take a ball. We want to worry about him in August. The pitch. Fly ball pretty well hit. But playable for Ozuna, who backtracks a couple of steps. Kenley Jansen, terrific in the ninth. Now let's have a walk-off, shall we? We're tied in the ninth. Outfield very deep. Swing, drive. with him down there at the plate what a celebration and what a time to push that button to put him into the lineup tonight as he comes through with three base hits and a game winning home run and all smiles down there in the first base dugout. I think you put your finger on it Ben. It was the speed of Albies at first that distracted Brazier. He was trying to retire two people at once.